This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Profit. Welcome to Business on Course. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. A company that's into hotels and real estate in some ways or the other in India, UK, Kenya. Yes. I'm sure the recession is bothering you already. Yeah, it's uh, been a tough few months. I think it'll probably get tougher before it gets better. Um, I think hotels are now changing their focus onto the domestic market, which is a good thing. But yeah, occupancies are definitely down at least 30% from last year. 30% is big, but do you expect that to go down further? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I hope not, but uh, I think if you refocus your marketing, uh, maybe you should be able to hold it at that. Uh, so you're telling me that that's what you're doing? Yeah, I think we've decided to refocus on the domestics because obviously the international travelers, is, it's going to reduce a lot. Mm. Uh, so the domestic Indian traveler is, is our target right now because they're staying in India and traveling in India. So and these are not the holiday guys, I imagine. This would be pure business travel or business-led uh, occupancy? Uh, no, actually, we have resorts, which is so leisure travel. Uh, we've okay. just launched our first uh, business hotel, so that will be uh, our only business focus. So uh, we're also, also launching a brand, which is leisure and business focused as well. So I think we're targeting domestic leisure tourists. I think that should be our focus for the next year or so. As a hotel brand, much of your Publicity so far has been in a relationship with the Carlson. Yes. Now, what is changing about that relationship and how are you, as you said, you're launching a new brand, taking that ahead? Uh, what we've done is we've launched our own brand, Zuri, which is uh, our first hotel is coming up in Bangalore. Uh, obviously, we want to leverage our strength of our properties. So we're mutually talking to Carlson and seeing how we can uh, put Zuri onto the rest of the property. So probably come end of March, uh, we'll have about five or six hotels under the Zuri brand, which is uh, a pretty quick jump for a new, new, uh, new brand. Sure, but certainly the fact that uh, you know you're talking about infusing, infusing a new sort of uh, style of marketing at a recession time, and everyone wants to learn their lessons well when things are down. How did you move into the business? Clearly, everyone who's watching you can figure out you're fairly young, and we're talking about a hotels business that's been around for a while. Yeah, it's uh, actually a family-run business, and. Uh, Growing up, I was in and out of the business during all my holidays. Uh, as soon as I finished my master's, I joined at age 21. So, Where did you do your master's? Um, I did it in London, in King's College, in uh, international business management. So okay. uh, it was pretty relevant. And I think with experience of growing up in the business, it was uh, pretty easy. But wh what made you think and when that you wanted to do this? I think when I was pretty young, actually, because I think with all Indian family-run businesses, it's it's uh, more or less taken as granted. And I was lucky; I liked doing business. And I think uh, hotels is an interesting field, so I never mm -hmm. wanted to do anything else. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. Okay, cool. There's a lot more we learn about the Phoenix Group up ahead. Of course, they have operations in Kenya, and it's also interesting to know that they are into floriculture. Yes. We're going to talk about that.